Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front brakes. This is a 2003 Honda Civic, um, but the procedure is pretty much the same for 2001 to 2005. This is for the sedans and coupes. We show you on the driver's side, the passenger side is the same procedure, and we always recommend you replace the brakes in pairs. Items you'll need are new brakes from 1AAuto.com, 12 to 19 millimeter sockets with ratchet and extension, flathead and Phillips screwdrivers, both small and large, a number three Phillips bit as well as a driver, large C-clamp, pry bar, torque wrench, jack and jack stands, wire brush, and grease. Remove the front wheel held on by four 19 millimeter lug nuts. If you have uh, a different style hubcap, you'll need to remove that. But just use a breaker bar or your tire iron and loosen the lug nuts while the tire is on the ground. Now raise and support the vehicle. Now remove the lug nuts the rest of the way and the wheel and tire. With the wheel off, you can check the condition of your brakes. You can run a screwdriver or your fingernail up and down the front and back. Check for any deep grooves or ridges. And actually, even though the uh, rotors look a little rusty, that's just from not being used. They're actually in pretty good shape. The, it, the outer pad, you can see right here, it's actually still pretty thick on this vehicle. And now in behind, you can see your inner pads right here. Again, thick. So actually the brakes on this vehicle are not in bad shape, but we're going to take them apart and put new ones on to show you. To remove your caliper, you'll need to remove two 12 millimeter bolts here and up here. And then later on we'll be removing the whole caliper bracket, so that's two 17 millimeter bolts here and up here. Before you remove those two 12 millimeter bolts, it's helpful to use a large screwdriver or a small pry bar insert it in here and pry out and this pulls your caliper out which actually pushes the caliper piston back in and it can make it a lot easier to get the caliper off. See I'm just prying slowly and the caliper is moving out. And it'll go back some when you release it and now we'll remove those two 12 millimeter bolts. Then remove the caliper, put it up, make sure it's secure so it won't fall down. And with the caliper out of the way, you can better see, here's the wear marks on your um, pads. As they wear down, those disappear. That's when you know it's time to replace your pads. And remove, pull the pad out and up. Same thing on the back side, out and up. Remove the caliper bracket. We're gonna remove those two 17 millimeter bolts. If they're still here, you need to remove these two Phillips screws. It's possible, although not likely, that you can just use a number three Phillips screwdriver and remove them. You'll need to use a number three bit on a ratchet. And if you just kind of shock them real quick, it'll come off. Hopefully, your rotor will just come right off. If you find that it doesn't come off easily, you can take a couple of M8 bolts and thread them into there and push them off with the bolts. Original parts from the car, driver's side pads, new rotors from 1A Auto, and then the pad, and ro the pad set here, and the rotors you can see exactly the same, same countersunk holes and everything. You're going to install just like the original and fix up your brakes. The rotor, just make sure that you line up the countersunk holes with the threaded holes in the hub. Put that on. And you can use the, the original screws or sometimes just use a lug nut 
hold things together. And these you just want to tighten them up a little bit. Uh, you don't want to make them very tight because you don't want to make them hard to get off next time, but just to hold things in place. Make sure that your slides here are nice and free. This one doesn't actually, it's a little bit less free than I'd like, so you can just pull them out. We'll clean it up and we'll put some new grease on it. You'll also want to clean up your slides if you don't put new slides on them and just use a wire brush. Both sides. Get some grease, spread it on, and reinstall and make sure it's really free. We install the caliper bracket and the two 17 millimeter bolts that hold it. And you want to torque these to 108 newton meters, which is 80 foot pounds. Make sure our caliper piston is back inside the caliper. Just put your old brake pad in place. Use a large C clamp and tighten it up. Push it back in place. Remove the clamp and remove your old pad. Spread some grease around the back. Also put a little bit of grease on the ends. And need to put it into place. In place. And then grease is spread on the rear one. You want the tab on the bottom. Now you can bring your caliper back down. And you may have to push your slides in in order to get it in place. Reinstall your two 12 millimeter bolts. And these are 34 newton meters or 25 foot pounds. Put your wheel back in place. Start your lug nuts. We'll tighten them preliminarily and then torque them when the vehicle is back down on the ground. And tighten your lug nuts, 80 foot-pounds, and just cross in the pattern. Anytime you do work on your brakes, make sure you pump the pedal, get a nice firm pedal before you test drive the vehicle. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.